Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Delawash Gone. So let's get on with Story 2, Home of the Damned. And that was indeed some doors from this story. Okay, so this took me for fucking ever. The laughing ghost here. Shut up! It's supposed to look like that. Don't laugh at me. Okay. This took forever, as I said. Uh, I had to look this up on uh, GameBoomers.com. It, it was so fucking annoying. I was running around in like... Uh, an hour or something, and I was so stuck. I'll get to that in just a second. First, we have to read this. I don't know if you are going to be able to read this yourself uh, out there on YouTube, so I'm just going to go over this quickly. October the 27th, uh, 1983. The flagrant thievery around this place has resulted in the disappearance of my personal diary. I will find out who took it and they shall be punished. The visitor came by the uh, evening. The news of the uh, 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 acquisition of the child spread quickly and without much time to lose. Everything is in order in a few days. These events of the past years will come to an end. The reward of my patience will be granted. And this is the head nun, Kelly. No, not Kelly. That's our... I can't remember her name, but that's the head nun's diary we are reading right now. She's a Christian fanatic. Okay. Uh, October 28th, 1983. Maybe I should try to get a spin on this. And, like. <coughs> trying to clear up my throat here. Uh, let's see here. I suspected my staff here cannot be trusted this morning while I was performing my uh, regular rounds I witnessed Sister Grace speaking with Sister Hazel but when I came upon them they immediately dispersed I will have to keep a close eye on them with the end so close I cannot allow something trivial to slip past me October very first 1983 today is the end of all days the servant I brought about has done well to teach the sinners of the town a lesson but tonight everyone will be punished this town my father founded out of purity has become overrun with despicable people who do not deserve to be here to think all of the foulness of the world stems from one cursed child. With the death of this child comes salvation. For all, for all only a few hours more and we will bring about the cleansing. Ah, oh, that was... Oh shit, I'm lightheaded now. What the fuck? Hope you enjoyed that. Exit here. And close this one. And up here. Okay, so now you're probably going to turn around. Of course you are. You're going to pick something up. But do it this way, as I'm doing. Because then we can get this thing over here as well. And this is what got me stuck, like, forever. I was glancing around. I, I can't, like, three videos. I, I This is uh, take two of, of this um, session here. Because I was running around for three videos doing absolutely nothing other than reading a diary and then nothing. I I, I saw this piece of paper we have here right now. Uh, but I only glanced over it and thought, okay, I'll start recording later and, and get back to the note. But what I didn't notice was this... Up in this corner is a tiny key! Yeah, fan-fucking-tastic. Hide the key in the corner. 
Okay, so what he said was a hint to it probably not one of the bedroom doors. I know what door it is, and we're going to get to that as soon as I have, uh, I have read this. My sister Helena... Uh, shit, I have to stand up for this. Fuck. I am relieved to hear you found the child with the time to close. I fear the opportunity will be lost. The visitor will be very pleased with this news. And it seems the cleansing of our town is at hand. This town has become overrun with filth. You and I were the only ones to ever see it. But we know these unfavorable people moved into our glorious settlement and have, and have corrupted our peace from the first day. Those who stay from the path suffer the thorns and the day is coming. It's time these sinners pay for corrupting our once angel angelic existence. Eternal love, Charles. So that's Charles Epps writing the head nun. Helena. So this is turning out to be quite the peaceful love story of a quiet settlement in in the wood area. Okay, now we turn around and face the door. Going through someone's personal belongings is an abhorrent trait. Ah, fuck. Funny. I was just going to say the same thing about killing children. And a smart mouth does not go without punishment. Ah, uh, I rarely say anything smart. Ask Kelly. You are on borrowed time, and it's almost up. Yeah, okay, so with that bitch out of the way, we can get on with this. One moment. Yeah, I've been having the flu for like a week, so you're going to have to apologize. Oh. Delaware, I found out that Mother Helena was head of the orphanage for just over a year. I also found newspaper articles about four children who died at the orphanage in that same time. Yeah. I get the feeling Mother Helena had other reasons for working at the orphanage besides the welfare of children. Well, there was an impending investigation right about the time the town vanished. It seems she was able to get away with whatever she was doing. I wouldn't say that just yet. I'm going to see what I can find. Let me know if you find anything else out. Okay. I am going to have to apologize for every time I clear my throat or I snivel or... Well, when I scratch my nose, it's it's very itchy on top of this flu. As it usually are when you're sick. And when I scratch my 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 nose, it, it's just a reflex. And I, I can never get used to this microphone because I don't notice it. It's very snugly, just a few centimeters away from my mouth. So I don't notice it because I can't feel it or see it. So I, I tend to just slam it, just give it a big slam when I when I uh, uh, scratch my nose. But moving on, we now have the key for this room. Ooh, Atsy. Let's see. Crap. Crap. More crap. And a notebook. Okay, I certainly wouldn't hang any of this in my refrigerator. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, don't, don't make me stand up again. Uh, I can't read any of this. Move the mouse out of the way, so in case you can read it, here you go. Just pause it. Ah, this should be enough time for you to read it. Let's see if there's anything else. Nope. Moving on. Chip, chip, cheerio. I got my new uh, gaming setup. Well, setup. And I'm in my living room now. Playing my PC on my 32-inch full HD Sony Bravia that I never talked about before. Cough, cough. Hello there. Can you tell me your name? Tommy Jarvis. And why are you sitting in the corner, Tommy? I have to sit here until I color better. Color better? Well, heck, I'm pretty darn good at coloring. Want me to help you? Okay, but don't tell Mother Helena. She'll get mad. 
now we have the color for... Okay, whatever. 